I'm very intentional about keeping bullshit away from me. If it's people, if it's their problems, I listen really well. So when people are talking, I just listen to hear what's coming out of them. You can hear if someone is a consistent complainer or if someone is consistently happy. You can, you can hear all that stuff in what people are saying. So yeah, I just try to keep negativity and stress as far away from me as possible. And yeah, I don't have to work at that. It's just, what? it's just me. So yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, man, y'all see that sun back there somewhere in the backdrop, man. Listen, bro, that mean we getting through the day. We making way and we don't play. You know, it's a little covered up by them clouds, man, you know. But it still feel good out here, man. Still feel good to come out here in the Rose Garden in October. The end of October at that to, you know, get some fresh air and holler at y'all, man. But yeah, man, I wanted y'all to see that message by Atheon Crockett. Shout out to Atheon Crockett. Funny dude, you know, real dude. Uh, go check out his Instagram. You know, he got a lot of great messages and videos and stuff like that. You know, and uh, that was another real one, man, you know. And that's just something that we have to make priority is to keep the BS away from us, man. You know, because it's everywhere. That's why I say that, bro. It's everywhere and it's affecting, infecting a lot of people, man. You know, because that's what a lot of people is all about. You know, they all about that gossip. They all about that backbite. You know, they all about that drama. They all about that negativity, bro, because that's what keep them going. You know, at the end of the day, man, that's what keep them going. That's what make them feel good. You know, that's where they get their energy from. It's an energy source for them. And it's crazy, you know, but when you in the spirit, that's low energy to you. That drains you. All of those things that I just named actually drain you because you in the spirit and it goes against the most high. You know, but when you wicked, when you're on that other side, when you're on that broad path, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you lead a life of sin, and guess what, bro? Those things are gonna give you energy. You know what I'm saying? And all that does is give them the drive to continue to try to dim the light of the good. You know what I'm saying? Because they want you to cross over with them. So. You know, you really, really have to make it a priority to keep them, to keep that low energy away from you, you know? Because if you don't and you let that infect you too, that's gonna affect your relationship with the Most High. That's gonna affect your, your, you know, your relationship with the Spirit. It's gonna affect everything in your life and infect you, you know? And then you're gonna start to notice things on a downward spiral. You know, because you let them get too close to you. You let them get in your mind. You know, you let them get in your heart. You let them get in your, in the way of your vision, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then now, you ain't got all that good precision, see? You know, when we stay in this life, when we with the most high, you know, we could see better. We could aim better. We could do better. We have more focus. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not thinking about all that hocus pocus, which is that wickedness, that BS that's over there, bro. We're not worried about what's going on in the next man house, the next person house. We're not, we not worried about that. We're worried about our temple. We're worried about what's going on. Not even worried, but you know what I mean? We focused on what's going on in our own house, our own vessel, our own mind, you know, our own process. You know, what we look like just being so invested in somebody else and what they doing? You know what I'm saying? That be that's what's so crazy right now, man. When you think about, you know, what's going on and just with, with, with these celebrities and all of that stuff, it's, it'd be people like invested in their life. You know what I'm saying? All that idolatry, all of it is idolatry. So, you know, when you idolizing people out here, it, 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 they ain't even got to be famous. Even when you idolizing women, you idolizing, you know, sports people, you idolizing entertainers, bro. You start your whole life is invested in the they life and what they doing. You know what I'm saying? And listen, bro, all that's going to get you in is more trouble with the most high. 
you know, because that's sin. And it's going to lead you into a life of sin, a life of bondage, a life of low energy, bro. And eventually, bro, you will be in that lake of fire. You know what I'm saying? Because you definitely not going to be here doing the most high's will instead. You know what I mean? You just fattening the pockets of these people that you follow. You know, you giving all the praises to these people that you follow. All the energy into these people that you following, bro. And listen, bro, the most high not going to tolerate that. You know, even, even with pornography, bro, the most high not going to tolerate that. You know, because that pornography siphons our energy. You know, when we looking up our favorite porn star, you know what I'm saying? And we willing to, you know, defile our own vessel and give away our life force energy. You know what I mean? Give away our spirit, you know, for the flesh. Listen, bro, you know, we got to pay for that. You know, that's why we're trying to stay away from that. You know what I mean? You know, for real, for real, man, because all of it is negative, you know? So you got to focus on you, you know? And a part of that is making it priority to keep, you know what I'm saying? People that come with that low energy away from you, bruh. Because them the ones that's going to be, you know, bringing back some of them old habits. You know what I'm saying? That they going to help. They going to assist with that when they come around you. You know what I mean? Talking about women and, you know, wanting you out there chasing them, chasing women. And, you know what I mean? You know, trying to have you out here intoxicated and under the influence and all of that stuff, bruh. You know, or they out here talking about the next and all of that stuff, man. Listen, bro. You know, all of those things, you know, goes against, you know, the person that you trying to become. You know what I'm saying? All of those things go because it goes against the spirit. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, like anything that goes against the spirit, bro. You know, when you call yourself a chosen one, you know what I'm saying? When you know that you are the anointed, listen, bro, it's going to affect you in, 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 in a, you know, a, a terrible way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it just don't mix. It just don't go together, bro. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's just something that we just have to make priority, which is keeping it away from us, man. Because it ain't always the people would be the things that we watch, bro. It'd be the things that's on these phones. It's all around us, bro. You know, we could be good at keeping the negative people away because we know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we'd be knowing who they are. You know, you'll have some people try to hide it, but you know, when you're on a journey like this, bro, you could feel that negative energy come around you, bro, because your energy so high, your frequency so high. So it's easy to get that away from you, bro, but you gotta recognize it. You know what I'm saying? Through these screens too. You know, on these social media platforms too. You know, on them TVs too. You gotta recognize it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because all these things is meant to break you down, bro. You know, all these things is meant to keep you away from the light, keep you away from the most high, because they want to change your mind. They want to change your perspective. You know what I'm saying? And we can't be letting things out here do that to us, bro, because it's demonic. That's what demons do, bro. They want to take you away from the light. They want to change. You know what I'm saying? They want to change your way of thinking. They want to change everything about you. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that the Most High created you. You know, they know that the Most High already has a plan for you. You know, so if they could get into it, get inside of you and change your mind and steer you on the wrong path, that's exactly what that type of stuff is going to do to you. You know, and one thing we know is that, them, you know, Satan will send his seeds. You know what I'm saying? To try to intervene and cause these things to happen. You know, so... You know, you got to watch out for these women. You got to watch out for these family members. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you know, you got to watch out. You got to watch out, you know, in your relationship. You, gotta, you know, because you could be in a relationship and your girl could be getting, you know, infected by the negativity out there. Because, you know, just keeping it 100, a lot of these women aren't as strong as us, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're not as strong as us, so they won't recognize it how we recognize it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women, not, you know, you know, they have discernment, but they don't use it. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, so they, you know what I mean? They let a lot of these, a lot of the things out here blind them. They let the flesh blind them. 
you know, they let covetousness blind them so they won't see it how you see it. So you got to keep an eye on that, too. You know what I'm saying? And try to shut that down as soon as, you know, that come around, bro. You know what I mean? And be that light, bro. You know, even when it come around, sometimes, you know, you just got to, you know, you, you just got to change the whole perspective when people try to come to you with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? I'm going to make light of the situation. You know what I mean? I'm going to turn this negative into a positive. I'm going to make you see it. You know, and I'm going to come with a, with, with, a, with a righteous a righteous comeback for it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we supposed to do, bro. The most high, you know, he said when we judge, we need to judge righteously. Righteously. You know, not just judging people from the outer cup. You know what I mean? You judge righteously by what you learn. You know what I'm saying? You judge righteously with wisdom. You know, you judge righteously from the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And then you go from, the, you know, and that's how you do it. You know what I mean? You judge righteously because you live in righteously. You know, but, you know, if you're not living righteously, then you can't judge righteously because, you know, you're probably doing the same things that they doing out here. So, you know, at the end of the day, bro, you just got to stay protected. You know what I'm saying? Stay guarded, stay girded up, you know, gird your loins and all of that stuff because it's always an attack. You know what I'm saying? It's always an attack that's trying to have you on your back. You know, it's always an attack that's trying to keep you away from the spirit. It's always an attack. You know what I'm saying? That's trying to take you off guard. It's always an attack that's trying to make you unhealthy, bro. It's always an attack. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want you in your process and becoming the best version that you are becoming right now as we speak, bro. So it's always going to be an attack, man, because you're with the most high. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you're really putting up a fight out here. So, you know, these things are going to happen, man. But you just got to make it a priority. Make it a priority. Like, listen, I ain't entertaining it. Don't even entertain it, bro. Don't, don't, don't even entertain it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, man, don't even realize, bro, when they entertain the BS out there, they just as guilty as the ones that's out there spread. You know, they just they just as guilty as the ones that did it because you entertaining it, bro. And you not staying locked in like we talked about earlier, bro. When you entertaining all of that stuff that don't mean nothing, you no longer locked in on what's important, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you shoot your own self in the foot, bro. You know what I mean? You know, it's always something that's going to suffer, you know, when you choose the flesh, when you choose low energy, when you choose this world. Just remember that it's always something in your life that's going to suffer when you choose anything besides righteousness, when you choose anything besides the most high, when you choose anything besides the spirit. It's always something in your life that's going to suffer because of that. So you just got to keep that in mind moving forward. All right. And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Sin. It's Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.